What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. In this video, we're gonna learn how to perform month-to-date and year-to-date calculations. I'm also gonna show you how you can compare this year's YTD versus last year's YTD. And in the final step, I'm gonna show you how to compare all year's YTD calculations on the same graph. So uh, this is kind of our final example here where we're able to see 2020's YTD versus 2019's YTD versus 2018's YTD. So it's really interesting to see that on the same plot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our demo file. In this Power BI file, we're looking at my actual YouTube data. So this is my views plotted over time. My YouTube channel has been going for about three years. So I have about three years of data. So with that, let's go ahead and start plotting our month to date and YTD calculations. So I'm gonna create a measure here. And this is a pretty standard YTD measure, but I'm just gonna take you through it as well. So I'm gonna call this views YTD. And this will be equal to the total YTD function and I am going to provide my views measure. And then I just need to provide my date uh, field that is populating my date axis, which is coming from my date table, date column. And that is our entire total YTD measure. So let's throw this into our line chart instead of my raw views measure. And I will get rid of views. So we see my YTD that increases until the end of the year, and then it starts over and increases and then it starts over and increases again. So this is working just as expected. So let's go ahead and compare this year's YTD versus last year's YTD. We'll create a new measure. I am going to call this uh, views LY YTD. And I'm going to set that equal to calculate. I can reference my views YTD uh, measure there. And the only thing I need to add in order to compare this to last year is the same period last year function and I'm providing my same date table, date column. And that is the only thing I need to do in order to make that comparison. So I'll go ahead and throw this in. So as you can see, that's really easy to do already. We can see that uh, this 2019 data is being plotted in 2020. So we're able to see that distinction between 2019 and 2020. But at this point, you may say, okay, well now I don't care about my previous years. I just wanna show my current year versus last year. And we can do that pretty easily with just a filter on this visualization. So I've gone ahead and gone to my date table. Let me come to my date table. And I have created this column called is current year. So it's just a simple if statement. It says if my year column equals today's year, so year function, today function, that gives me 2020 as of right now. So if my year column equals 2020, make it a one, else make it a zero. So if I were to filter down my entire date table to just one, then I will see I only have 2020 dates. So coming back to my visualization here. So now I'll throw that into my visualization filters. So click on the visualization is current year and let's set that equal to one. So now you can see we're filtered down to just 2020, but we can still see last year's data as that black line. That's all pretty easy. It gets a little bit harder when you wanna compare multiple years of data, meaning you want to show this uh, maybe three years back or four years back. Um, instead of creating multiple measures to accomplish the exact same calculation on a different time scale, we can set this up in a more dynamic way. So in order to do that, I need to do two things. I need to create a new measure that's going to handle this calculation, and I need to set up a disconnected table that is going to show me all of my years of data. So in order to do that, I am just gonna to go to my modeling tab and click on new table. So I wanna show this based on the different years. So I need to get all of the distinct years from my date table. So let's go ahead and call this years. And I'm gonna set this equal to values of my year column from the date table. Let's go ahead and see what that table looks like. So my years table. I see I only have 2018, 2019, and 2020 data. So that is perfect. Let's make sure that there are no relationships set up to that year's table. So it's disconnected, that's perfect. And then finally, let's go ahead and throw in that year's year column in the legend. And before I do that, let me go ahead and get rid of one of these measures. So now we just have views YTD. Let's throw year in the legend. And now it's split up by year. This hasn't really done anything yet because all of the calculations are exactly the same because that is a disconnected table. It's not really driving any differences in the calculations. So now we need to create one more measure here that is going to split this up and show us our three different YTD values on the same scale. So I'm going to call this views. Uh, let's call this all years YTD. And I'm going to set this equal to and firstly, I wanna create a variable that's gonna tell me how many years back from this year we currently are. So I'm gonna call this years back. 
and I want to say year today. So give me today's year, 2020, and I want to subtract the year that we are currently looking at in the visualization. So I can say selected value of my year's year column. That's what's in the legend. So I can close that off. So basically 2020 minus whichever year we're looking at in the visualization, that's gonna give me my years back. And then we just need to return, calculate. Let's use my views YTD measure. And for the filter clause, we want to throw in date add, the date add function. We wanna provide the date column that we've used a couple times now. And now we need to make it shift back a certain number of intervals. And we can do that by saying negative years back and we need to type in year here and close that off. So let's run through that again. We want our views year to date calculation, but instead of just the raw views year to date, we want to move back in time a certain number of years. And that certain number is driven by our variable here. So let's say we're looking at 2018 in the visual. It's 2020 minus 2018 gives us two. So then we date add negative two years. And that's how that works. So let's go ahead and click enter. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in instead of years YTD. And there we have it. So that is my three years of data, all YTD on the same scale. And we can see the different years that each of these lines is representing. Uh, quick note, I actually started my YouTube channel in February of 2018, so I don't have the full year of data there, but this looks pretty close to three years of data. Uh, so just real quick before we end the video, I wanna show you how this would change for MTD. Really isn't much of a change at all. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change total YTD to total MTD. Uh, that's the only calculation change. We will see now we're actually showing every month of this year. So we just need to change our filter from is current year to is current month. And quickly in order to do that, I am going to come to my date table and I'm gonna replicate this is current year for you real quick. So I'm gonna create a new column here, is current month instead of year. And we're just gonna say if our month number equals our month of today, one or zero. So it's the exact same sort of calculation. And now all we have to do is throw in that is current month into our visual filter. So let's set that equal to one. And there we go. So this is looking at my MTD for 2020, 2019, and 2018. So we see that 2020 is doing better than 2019, and we're doing much better than 2018. So this is really interesting to see all these different years of data on the same scale, on the same visualization. Um, it's a little bit difficult to do if you don't know that technique, but with this, I think you'll be able to get it on your own. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. I also offer training courses over at training.bielite.com. We have some great courses on Power BI, DAX, and Alteryx. Go check them out. The link will be down in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.